Welcome to the Content 10X Podcast. 10X Podcast. The show where content creators learn how to harness the power of content repurposing. And now, your host, Amy Woods. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Content 10X Podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, and in today's episode, I'm going to be talking all about the importance of video content and why I think that video is so, so important when you are creating content and why from a content repurposing perspective, because that's really always a key focus of the show. I think that it's a great idea to start with video content. So I wanted to let you know about some changes that are taking place in the UK music industry and I'm sure these changes will have already and will be taking place in other countries as well but it's about the impact of video on the music industry because this just really really um, interested me. So in the UK the official charts company so the people who um, work out the charts every week and compile all the numbers they have announced that they're going to change the way that they compile the weekly countdown. And it's because so many people are listening to music by watching videos rather than actually buying the songs. So, so many people are watching music on YouTube that it's deemed that this needs to be represented in the charts to get an accurate reflection of the musical tastes and the music industry in the country, they're going to have to start acknowledging that so much music is consumed on YouTube, online, on video platforms. Now, I find this really interesting because this signifies something about people's behaviour and people's taste when it comes to consuming content. But then listen to this as well, because this is also really interesting. So some of the platforms that you consider to be audio only or some of the apps. So, for example, so Apple Music and Spotify, they are going to be adding video. So what we've got here is we've got people who go to what you would consider to be audio only type apps and they are going to be having video content on there. And then you've got the video places like YouTube where people are going to to consume music. So this really does show the importance of video content and video content is what people want. So in the music industry, in the charts, they aren't going to count kind of like for like video view as a sale. What's going to happen is YouTube have announced that they are going to have a premium paid for service for music and other platforms as well that offer video often have the paid for aspects as well. So a hundred views of subscription paid for services are going to be classed as a sale and 600 views of music videos uh, on the non-paid floor where you're going to see ads and all that kind of thing that's going to class as one sale it's all based on the revenue that is earned for that that artist so there's absolutely no doubt that people really do like to consume video content And a study conducted by Cisco predicted that by 2019, so next year, 80% of the content that is consumed online is going to be video content. Now, this doesn't surprise me after what I've just told you about how much video is impacting what you would consider to be audio industries, but video is impacting the charts, the music, um, audio apps are starting to bring in video too. Video, 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 it's all becoming really, really important. So that's why I think that if you are comfortable and if you're willing to give it a go, video is the best starting point for creating content because you can go on and then repurpose your content. But video is a great, great place to start. From a video, you can create written content, you can create short videos, you can put videos together and create longer videos, you can create stills and visuals and graphics. You can do so, so much if you start with video because you can even strip the audio from the video and create audio content as well. Though I will actually tell you a little funny story about that, which is that I recorded myself talking about this topic for 
the newest um, in video content, the IGTV, so Instagram TV. And I recorded myself talking about this topic. I thought it was quite interesting. And I was going to strip the audio and um, put that into this podcast episode, basically, and add, add a bit of a start and an end, and there would have the podcast. But there were loads of birds tweeting in the background. A really noisy train came past as I was doing the video. And all in all, the audio was not actually great. It wasn't um, through anything other than environmental circumstances that I couldn't really control unless I kept doing the video again and again and again. And I decided not to do that. It didn't affect the video too much because, of course, you could see me and you had more of an idea of what was going on. So the background noises were not too much of an irritation. But when I stripped the audio, it just didn't quite sound right. So <laughs> um, it, it, the environment will play a big part in whether you strip the audio from video. We work with quite a few clients who go live on Facebook and then we work with them to produce the Facebook Live video and do some post Facebook Live video editing. And then we work with them on podcast and written content and visuals. And they always have very particular spaces that they'll do the video because they're very aware that we're going to take the audio. So it will be in a quiet space where they can control the environment. They'll use a good microphone. Um, sound will be important as well as the visual side of things. So... I always like to say that, that when I talk about taking the audio from video, you do have to think about the audio quality. But nonetheless, there's so, so much that you can do with video. Very versatile, great starting point, And it's having such a big impact in so many different places because it's the content that people love to consume. Okay, so thank you very, very, very much for listening to today's podcast episode. I really do appreciate it. If you would like any help at all with your content repurposing efforts, then please do get in touch because at Content 10X, we offer a fully done for you content repurposing service. If you'd like to get in touch anyway, just contact me. It's amy at content10x on email. I'm at content10x on all the social media platforms. And of course, head over to the website as well, content10x.com. So thank you very much for listening to today's episode and I'll catch you in the next one.